I have already made a video highlighting the potential breakout stars of 2024, but today I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to talk about the guys who are tearing it up on the track, but I won't be naming the typical names you would see across papers and online. These will be the B graders or youngsters that are taking it to a new level. Uh, so here is one unexpected player from every team that is absolutely tearing it up on the track this preseason. Starting with the Crows, a few guys have been turning heads, but Zach Taylor is a name I've heard pop up quite a lot. The young mid has had a tough run in recent years in interrupted pre-seasons, no senior footy, but he's kept fit and the Crows fans should be excited to hear that because he has been a constant force in that engine room. He is set for a debut in 2024, possibly even early from what some have said, but whenever it is, it's just important for the Crows to generate more midfield depth and Taylor's pre-season performance has potentially given them that. He has shot right up the pecking order it seems. Logan Morris, recent Brisbane draftee, undersized key forward. I spoke glowingly of him at times before he was drafted, so it doesn't surprise me that he would be performing well in his first pre-season but the guy has kicked a bag of five goals in a recent intra-club at one of the best clubs in the league. You can't really ask for much more than that. He is a name many fans of other clubs probably don't know just yet, but Brisbane fans are starting to love the young forward taken at pick 31. It seems like a steal early days. Another draftee, Billy Wilson. He was seen as a bit of a bolter when he was taken at pick 34, but Colton's list managers will be laughing. He has been on a tear this preseason at halfback. He is quick. He is exciting. He is smart. It's a really tough team to break into in defense. He would have to leapfrog Sard and Newman but he is doing everything he can to push for an early debut. He looks an awesome talent and another potential draft steal. At Collingwood, the name popping up all the time I see is Reef McInnes. There was obviously that Dan McStay injury that has hurt their forward line, but from all accounts, the undersized McInnes is making himself room for a spot in that forward six. He has had some great match sim moments to spark faith in his probable role at the club. He is pushing for a round one start and will almost definitely play in both practice games as well. From what I've heard, he has been incredible partnered alongside my check. Essendon draftee Nate Caddy has been flying so far in 2024, but another recruit has caught his fair share of eyes as well. Archie Roberts, a potential slider from the 2023 draft. He excelled on a wing in match sim and has had teammates sing his praise in the last month or so. Roberts, from all accounts, has been one of Essendon's most surprising performers. It took Jeremy Sharp a few years, but he finally ended up on Frio's list after after a move from Gold Coast. Many were skeptical because of how poor he has been in the last couple of years, but he looks right at home in his home state. He is using that tank to good effect, showing off all those skills we saw back in late 2021. I think he's a first team player, to be honest, despite having not played an AFL match since 2022. He could be a real pickup for the Dockers. Everybody has been talking about Sean Manor this preseason at Geelong, but fellow mature Aja Ollie Wiltshire has also raised eyebrows. The guy was playing local footy at Barwon Heads just a year back, but he is now a genuine chance for an early debut. The 21-year-old has been great up forward this preseason. He also shows midfield capabilities as well. Uh, he's a name that has been hidden in the shadow of Manor, who is also tearing up, but there is every chance we see them both feature at the same time in 2024. Now, Gold Coast, someone who isn't exactly unknown is Alex Sexton, but the Sexton we see in 2024 could be very different to the one we last saw. He has only played 12 games up forward in the last two years. Spots are tight in that forward line, but Sexton has been moved down back and has apparently been elite. He is a good fantasy option for those interested. He has been getting plenty of the pill in match sim. He's using his pace and precision to rebound rather than aim for the sticks. It's a different Sexton, but many at the club think it's one that could genuinely improve them as a team. Mid-season draftee Wade Dirksen has been doing plenty this preseason. He, like Sexton, was moved from the forward line to defense where he has been playing as an intercepting tool, and it's worked. He has been supposedly really important down there. He is hoping to build a partnership with that defense so he can impact when he comes into play. Don't know if he is as close to game time as some others I've mentioned, but still a player performing at a really high standard. And this player is unfortunately not close to game time. He has had his hard work dashed by a bit of an injury, but I feel like I have to name him anyway. Hawthorne's Bailey McDonald was earning plenty of praise for his work across halfback before his injury. He had eyebrows raised seeing as he's only played the two AFL matches, but it was looking like he could be a real fixture of that Hawks back line. Hopefully he recovers soon. Bailey Laurie is a player I've spoken of before on this channel quite recently. In fact, in my breakout player video, but I can't think of an another guy I should name here instead of him. He has been huge in that Melbourne midfield. He's one that many think could feature in round one or round zero, whatever it's called. Obviously, the availability of Clayton Oliver and others will play a big part in that, but even if he has to wait, he is still going to come in and play better than we've seen him before. Everybody this preseason at Arden Street have been talking about draftees Colby McKercher and Zane Dersner, but another name I have seen consistently amongst the top performers is Riley Hardiman, the rebounding defender from WA. He is apparently slotted right into that defense, a defense that 
this pretty poor thing as it lost about four first team players from it. Hardeman is going to play footy in 2024 and if the preseason is anything to go by, it's probably going to be pretty good footy as well. Port youngster Jace Burgoyne turned up to day one of preseason looking like a completely different person to this time last year. The 20 year old supposedly added five to 10 kilos to that light frame, but it hasn't hurt his running capabilities. He is still performing well with time trials and is involved in the better quality teams come match sim, usually an indication that a player is close to featuring in the best 22. He has played footy, but always looked a little lean and underdone. I think 2024 is the year that changes for him. Richmond, Thompson Dow, there are a few options here. Tyler Sonsi has been really impressive up forward. James Trezice in defense, but Thompson Dow has impressed quite a few pundits with his inside midfield work. His lightning fast hands are a strong feature for fans to get excited about. It's a tough engine room to break into, but he isn't putting a foot wrong as he tries to do so. Another new draftee, Hugo Garcia. He was taken very late in the 2023 national draft as a hybrid midfielder forward. It's fair to assume he wouldn't be playing in 2024. Uh, small frame, lower quality compared to other draftees, but he has been a bit of a shining light from all accounts this preseason. There is a lot of hype around this kid now. He has a name that always seems to come up when people talk about training sessions. There is supposedly a rebounding defensive partnership forming between already established player Nick Blakey and young Matt Roberts, a name most won't be familiar with. He's entering his third season. He's moved from a new role and is flourishing. He has impressed in match sim. His own coaches have gone out of their way to hype up the youngster. I think we're going to be seeing plenty of him in 2024. Over at West Coast, there is plenty of hype around Harley Reid, so pretty much anyone else unnamed would be flying under the radar compared to him. Clay Hall is who I've got. He's another draftee taken much later than Reid. He is supposedly a borderline lock to play round one footy. He has been unreal from all accounts. I feel like every time I see any West Coast training news, the headline is obviously Reid. And down below is Hall, who has been a consistent performer in that midfield. He is one we should be keeping an eye on early. And finally, at the Doggies, Buku Kamis is a name I have seen lots of fans and pundits rave about. The forward line is a toughie to crack into, but Kamis has been one of the better performers across it, I believe. There are many that suggest he could earn a spot in the best 22 more consistently in 2024 because of this early form. But that is that. Those were 18 players from across the comp tearing it up this preseason. Let me know if I miss anyone you would have liked to have seen named. Uh, like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe to see more like it each week.